Statues are more about our present than our past. Is the statue of Robert E. Lee in Charlottesville a symbol of oppression to be torn down? Or a historical monument to be preserved? Donald Trump laments America's history being torn apart with the removal of our beautiful statues and monuments. But controversies about statues aren't mainly about the past. They're almost always about the present. The statue in Charlottesville wasn't built soon after the US Civil War, but in 1924. Most Confederate monuments were built in two periods. First, from 1900 to 1920, when southern states were enacting Jim Crow laws to segregate public space. Second, in the 1950s and 60s, when white supremacists were fighting desegregation and the civil rights movement. At both times, statue building reasserted white dominance in the present. Statues and flags in public spaces like government buildings, schools and parks claim to represent the community. But celebrating symbols of slavery excludes and marginalizes the descendants of the enslaved. Donald Trump asks incredulously if the next step would be to take down statues of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. He thinks it would be self-evidently absurd to topple the nation's founding fathers. But maybe this is exactly what is needed to reimagine American identity in non-racist ways. This is what South African protesters have been doing to the father figure of apartheid, Cecil Rhodes, in part by bringing down a statue. In India, historically oppressed Dalits have been building statues of B.R. Ambedkar, the great Dalit leader and architect of the Indian constitution. They do this as a way of reclaiming space from which they've been excluded. If we truly want equality in our present, we need to be honest about our past. Tearing down and building up can both be steps towards justice.